Well, good morning. Thank you for joining me on this uh, winter wet morning uh, on Chroma Pier. Now, this is a very impromptu vlog, and I don't think it's going to be terribly long. If I come out into the, uh, the wild here, you get an idea of how grey and dull it is. I kind of knew it was going to be like this one this morning, but I got myself up and I, because well, I've spent quite a few days just kind of laying in bed until too late and just not having the motivation to get out. So this morning I kind of forced myself. Now I am currently staying by the coast, so coming out to Cromer is literally a few minutes drive for me rather than uh, a 45 minute hour kind of run from where I live. So getting out in the morning is something I really should do and I haven't. Uh, I haven't had the motivation for all kinds of reasons. But this morning I thought well I'll go out and I was hoping I might be able to catch some, uh, some lights and such up there in the morning uh, kind of murk. Well, that didn't work because I'm habitually late to get out in the mornings. Uh, as I said, motivation. But I got here to Chroma and it's very grey as you can see and it's very drizzly and that's producing a lovely kind of misty feeling. I thought, well, I haven't done any photography on Chroma Pier for a long while. So why not? And because it's murky, because it's wet, we've got some reflections and the reflections are great. Now I've shot a number of them already, so you know, you're know you just going to see a few photos in a moment rather than me shooting. And I don't know what else I'm going to find. I've wandered around. What I do like are these barrels here. They are, they're great. They're, there's a, what I hope is a wonderful shot of those coming up. Just the dark wood slats of the pier. The, the relatively simple reflections of the barrels and the, but particularly the colored bands on the barrels. In what is otherwise a very kind of colorless image, that really stands out and probably my favorite shot I've taken so far, obviously in the back of the camera, I can't be any more specific than that, but yeah, I like that one and you'll probably see that one first. In actual fact, we'll stick, stick that one up now and uh, I'm going to have a, a wander to see what else I can, um, I can find and, and shoot. If there's anything else, I don't know, the light's coming up a bit, I don't know whether it's a bit too much or not. We'll have to see. I don't know whether this is going to be a shot or not. I'm not normally one for that much minimalism, I'll have to admit. I'm not sure I need that one. Very high key. I, <laughs> no, high key. I don't do high key normally either. Uh, I like dark and gritty stuff, you may have noticed. Uh, just out there, a few of the groins, a few, two, two groins, just uh, kind of inching into the sea. Well, not inching, but you know, yarding, yarding into the sea. Is that, is that right? With the cliff coastline kind of beyond, just kind of vanishing into, into the drizzle. It might be a shot. Now, this is all about placing your, uh, your subjects very well here. It's going to be a lot about balance. Uh, and of course there isn't a great deal of balance because everything's on the right hand side of the image. So I've got to be careful, it might just turn out to be awful. Uh, yeah, th this is just a notion that I've seen uh, with, uh, I think I had my glasses on at the time. If I didn't, uh, Lord knows what could be out there. Now there is a bit of balance here. There's just the hint of the horizon and it's coming through. You can see you've got this post here 
the spit of land and opposite over, we can get my finger in here, there, where is it, there, you've got the other post and then leading up to the, the cliff over here, you've kind of got a, an invisible zigzag triangular leading eye and it does provide a bit of balance and because the horizon is more hinted than the visible I think there's something in it um, oh, I don't I don't know how much is in it we'll have to kind of find that out but do I do this as a long exposure and I think yeah I probably should the the drizzle has come down a lot now so I'm not so worried about getting a, a, a wet filter How about over here? So by coming over here, I've moved the posts around quite a bit. So I created a bigger gap between them, taking the eye through the image a little more. Here's another reflection shot. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's, it's nothing special. I'm just seeing reflections and, and taking shots. It's more kind of street photography without people. I don't know what you call that. Um, maybe, maybe this is just abstract, I don't know. But, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I think this is probably crap. Let me know anyway. That was crap, I think. Uh, but if I take my whole kit away and step back a bit and I adjust the camera a little, if I zoom out and I work more on the bench as a whole and getting the reflections into it, I think perhaps there's something more there. I need to get rid of that intrusion into the background there. And I quite like that. I'm going to do this as a relatively shallow depth of field, focusing on the, of the uh, closest point to the bench only, so the focus falls away further back. Not a great deal, but enough to just kind of draw the eye to the one point. And what's that look like? I like that. I do like that. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, click the like button. Yeah, not enough people click the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. Hey, even if you don't like it, click it. What have you got to lose? Well, I've got another shot lined up here. I don't know whether it's going to be uh, any good as such. It, uh, it probably isn't. As you can see, it's, uh, it, it's just the life boy providing a bit of colour amongst just grey overcast murk. It's a top and bottom image, but the key is that the uh, the image, yeah, being of two halves, is joined by the life belt, breaking that uh, that boundary uh, on there, which helps the eye join two elements of the shot together. It's it's literally it's nothing special as an image. It's not what you might hang on a wall, but you might put it in a book that's uh, discussing chroma or discussing uh, chroma pier, that kind of thing. I, probably I'm overthinking, it's probably garbage, but uh, yeah, kind of documentary uh, photography is, uh, is not necessarily about getting the greatest image, it's about documenting what's there and uh, perhaps doing so in a more creative way.
Well, I've been standing around doing nothing. Well, not nothing, but just standing around, not moving a bit for a while. So I'm getting uh, a little on the cold side, and I think the light's risen that little bit too much for me to want to continue. So I'm going to end the video there. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Share it on your social media. Hey, <laughs> let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.